Today's weather in Fort Worth, Texas is 75 degrees with 0% chance of rain. Texas students now have an absolute answer that there will be no returning to school for the rest of this semester. They will continue to do online work while communicating with their teacher best way that they can. A lot of Americans during this time have been left unemployed and wondering where their next check along with meal will come from. DoorDash and Uber Eats have been a great resource for many Americans providing jobs to those that have reliable transportation and a clean background. Now, I want to take a second to talk about this amazing Netflix documentary that has swept the nation called Joe Exotic, the Tiger King. So Joe Exotic has been not only raising tigers, but breeding them as well, and also sadly been known for killing them, which has not set a good taste in a lot of viewers' mouths that have watched the Netflix docuseries. But um, I do want to say that he's very entertaining, and I think that he's a good, genuine person from what I've seen from on the footage, of course. Um, of course, everyone has their faults, but I can't help but to think, did his arch nemesis, Carol Baskin, did she really murder her husband? And if so, is she going to see any repercussions now that this, you know, docuseries is out and everyone in the world now knows this you know at first it was just something that was in their their hometown that was you know the talk but now the whole world knows and memes and videos and you know just a lot of jokes have been made about it but I just wonder though like was she you know seeing the repercussions of it you know because she did beat the case technically but I don't um I don't know I think it was just so crazy to think that all the way in Oklahoma there's not only an exotic zoo, but there's an exotic man that runs the zoo that has a arch nemesis <laughs> that also has a zoo. And they have been going back and forth with each other for years. And they say that it's to fight for the cats, you know, which are the lions and tigers. But in my personal opinion, they just didn't like each other. I think they should have just maybe met up face-to-face, had a discussion, hash things out, and just, you know, move forward. But at the same time, you know, I understand Joe Exotic's point of view in the docuseries. You know, he's doing the same thing that you're doing, but he's the only one getting ridiculed for it. So I just think it was a, doc- a good docuseries for everyone to see, especially at this time with um so much going on. It was good to see something not necessarily so lighthearted, but something that will just take your mind off things. And I hope that Joe Exotic is pleased with the fame that he has received from this docuseries because he's definitely famous. But um, it was it was a good one. I just really recommend everybody watching it and just, you know, kind of getting your own insight on things and realizing that sometimes it's not easy. It's just good to let things go because holding on to grudges can can take you places you never imagined. But, yeah, that's just my insight on Joe Exotic, the Tiger King.